Chad, tell us about your wool. Oh, Ben, wool's what really gets me out of bed in the morning. Uh, we focus very heavily on animals with high levels of density and length of fibres, which produce uh, good weights of high quality low micron wool, uh, which is then highly resistant to fleece rot and fly strike uh, on an animal with a really soft, wrinkle free skin that doesn't need to be mules. Chad, tell us a bit about Mumblebone and how it works with the environment. Then Mumblebone's a merino stud. Uh, we're at Wellington, New South Wales. Uh, we run about four and a half thousand ewes uh, and produce uh, about 400 rams a year. Uh, this is the type of country we run the sheep on. It's undulating native grass country. Um, we try and mimic nature as much as we can uh, in our operation uh, and aiming for a diverse, dense native grass uh, pasture base to run the sheep on. Uh, it just seems that that's a, a really good way of maintaining production and minimising costs, which obviously the combination of the two helps drive profitability in the game. Um, and the more we mimic nature, the healthier the state of the place, uh, the, the pastures and the healthier the stock, uh, the better the production and profitability of the whole game. It's, uh, it's just an exciting time to be in the merino industry, I think, Ben. It's, it's such a fascinating animal to be dealing with, with the complexity and number of traits that we look to try and get right. It's, uh, more recently understood traits like muscle and fat to combine with growth to produce a highly efficient wool growing animal. Um, Agriculture is in my blood and I certainly think sheep and wool is as well so it's, uh, it's a great way to combine two of the real passions of my life. Um, it's a fibre I've grown up with and I, I remember quite clearly swinging along the side of the race listening to Dad uh, classing the sheep when I was a young guy uh, talking about the bright white wools that we wanted in the flock. Um, the emphasis now is probably more on bold deep crimping wools that uh, test far finer than they look, which is quite deceptive uh, and process so well when uh, put to the test in the, in the processing plants. Um, but it really is great to be involved with world's best fiber. <laughs> Chad, where to from here mate? What's the future of you, your family and wool? I think it's a very bright future Ben. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a long standing industry. Uh, that we've been involved with for five generations and uh, I think with the potential still left in the merino uh, there's generations of work left to be done you really need a very long-term view when breeding merinos and uh, if we can just uh, continue that there's an opportunity for the next generation if they want to take it on to continue breeding such a magnificent fibre on, on these merino sheep.